welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my school bag at the end of the year. Well, this video is kind of cool because this is not just a what's in my school bag at the end of the year video, but this is in fact a what's in my school bag at the end of year 13, at the end of sixth form, and at the end of my school life in general. Because the next thing for me is university, which is kind of crazy. I start in September. So yeah, this is my last ever what's in my school bag at the end of the year sort of video unless I do one next year at the end of my first year of uni I don't know not really sure if I'll be using a school bag much but here it is this one lasted really well throughout the year this is from Victoria's Secret pink and I actually tried to look for it online earlier and I found one quite similar uh, it's not exactly the same but it was reduced from £40 to £15 so like I said it's the good quality and I would recommend it so if you are looking for a school bag you could head on to there I'll link it in the description but it wasn't in this colour and it's a bit of a shame because I love this colour I think we should get started with what's actually in my school bag side pockets first of all we have got a box of Tic Tacs. As you can see, not many left in here. I must have gotten through like three tubs of Tic Tacs um, in year 13, <laughs> which is really bad. But basically me and my friends would share these out um, literally every day. We'd eat lunch and I'd be like, who wants a Tic Tac? And then I'd just like share them out. Actually, funny story about these Tic Tacs. Every time I'd walk down the corridor, I'd be on the way to my lesson. My classmates would always laugh because they always knew it was me coming because all you could hear when I was walking down the corridor was, just the tic tacs shaking away so um yeah that was a little bit embarrassing but also quite funny and then in the other side pocket these were quite good although the only thing i would say about these side pockets is that they weren't very tight around the top so i didn't ever put my water bottle in it because it would just fall out sometimes so i just i wouldn't say they're the best pockets of all time but at least you can kind of see what's in there and they kind of did the job. I then have um, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Hand Cream and this is just really good. I have eczema and it's really bad on my hands especially. This is just a really really nice cream and it smells amazing. It actually smells of chocolate because it is of course cocoa butter. Another thing in the side pocket is my hairbrush. Oh it's kind of gross because there's just like hair coming out all over the place. This is a Tangle Teaser it's got the little base on it, which is really good because it stops it getting dirty. And I also actually have my COVID vaccination stickers on the top because I didn't know where to put them when I got them. I didn't actually get one for my third. So I can feel something else in the bottom of this. Baby pink paper clip. Another paper clip, but it's like the same colour as my school bag. Another paper clip, a pink one, which is covered in hair. Kind of gross. Oh, and then a neck. Oh my God. I haven't had this necklace for ages because it's been inside my bag and I low-key forgot about it. It's a gold necklace with silver diamante heart. I actually love this necklace. I need to take this to Paris with me so I need to put this down. Anything else? No, that is it for the side pocket and now we're going to move on to the front pocket and I honestly think this has more in it than the actual main pocket itself so let's dive in to the front pocket of my bag. First of all my purse. This was always in my front pocket. I did swap purses actually though um, towards the end of the year because the one I had like chains used to like fall out of the purse because it wasn't a zipped up one. It was just folded over the top. Um, but this purse I've actually had since I was like five years old and I found it again and I really really love it. So I love it so much. I'm dropping it all over the place. Okay I then have my inhaler. Can't go anywhere without my inhaler, otherwise I start panicking. I then have a USB cable, this little red one. This was from Primark, I think, actually. And it's basically the, the end is for like Androids or Lightning Apple phones. So that was pretty good. And this was for my battery pack, which here's the little bag the battery pack went in. Um, and this is it. This is the battery pack itself. It's massive, quite heavy. I just charged it up. Um, the other night and you can fit two usbs in there and then you charge it in that little socket there i always like to have this at school because somebody always needs a battery pack we have some chewing gum this is the extra cool breeze chewing gum my granddad often gives me chewing gum to put my school bag and stuff so i often have just packs lying around um i didn't really have them much at school because uh, we're not actually allowed chewing gum in school but like after school and stuff i'd sometimes have it oh this is really gross i can't lie to you but this is an empty tissue packet with a dirty tissue in it swiftly on. I then have some paracetamol because I have so many headaches and migraines and I suffer with migraines. Then we have my AirPods. These are the AirPod Pros. 
got these for my birthday. Always have these in my bag, always. We have a lip balm and this is the Malibu Lip Care Watermelon Flavour and it has SPF in it as well. Okay, what else have we got in here? Another Paris's mold, but just a single one. And then my keys. We've had like loads of different keys on, but mainly the one I used was my locker key. Oh, we've got some money here. Two 50p's and these are both special 50p's that my granddad gave me whenever he finds like a special one he gives them to me the last things in here are kind of just rubbish i think hair grip sticky notes that's it for the front pocket of my bag moving into my actual bag itself and this is the main pocket first of all my water bottle this is the Mean Girls the Musical water bottle. It says don't be thirsty on it. I got this when I went to see Mean Girls the Musical on Broadway, which was in 2019. So this has been going strong for three years. I have used it, no joke, almost every single day for the past three years. And yes, it's quite scratched now, but is still in such great condition. I think it was like $20 or something when I bought it, so it was very pricey. But like I say, it has done so well and I love its pieces. If anything ever happens to this water bottle, I will be really upset. Then we have got my school planner. I did use it quite often, but usually it was like just slipping things inside it and also for my timetable. However, I did end up using a, an app on my phone for my timetable in the end and that was really, really useful. We've got a little plastic wallet which has some letters in it about school trips. Then we have got some stickers. I don't remember where I got these stickers from, but they just say stuff like, excellent, wow, uh, great effort, good work, well done, stuff like that, and they're sparkly, shiny stickers. And as you can see, I've actually used a lot of these, and I ended up giving them to my friends, um, a bit like, kind of as a joke, really, and then also I gave one to my teacher. I was like, do you want a sticker? And so she, I think she had fantastic and she put it on her like name badge at school and she's still got it on there to this day which makes me so happy because it's like something i gave her she really liked treasures and she still has it on her name badge and that just makes me feel really really special <laughs> okay and then we have got this blue folder here and one of the teachers actually gave me this to help with organization and stuff because i was really really struggling at the start of year 13 and i felt really overwhelmed with all the kind of things i had to do um in terms of staying organized i planned out my free periods on here and this was week two and then that was the week one timetable then i just kept post-it notes and paper clips in here and just really loads of organisational things. I also have my timetable printed out and laminated and put in here. I'm really thankful to the teacher who gave me this because she it really did help me to get organised. We then have my glasses case and my glasses are DKNY but they're actually from Specsavers. I actually think I won this on a Tombola or something but it's one of those like free gifts. You know where you buy a makeup product and you get like a free makeup bag? It's basically one of those. Inside I have a packet of tissues. These are clean ones, don't worry, not dirty ones. Um, I've got some hair bubbles, face mask, another hair bubble, some stickers, and these are my like unicorn stickers. And this sticker says on it, magical wound healer, not stickers, plasters, chewing gum, and then some more pads in here as well. And that's everything that was in here. It was basically just like a little emergency kit. And then I have a receipt. Oh, okay, this was from Tesco's, of course. And then got a little post-it note that says transitions on it. This was just from when I wrote to-do list for editing my video. And finally, for the main pocket, I have my pencil case. I'm just thinking, would you like me to do a what's in my pencil case at the end of the year and what slash what you actually need in your pencil case for sixth form video? Because all of the stuff in this pencil case, I basically used and I kind of ended up filtering through what I actually needed and what I didn't need in this pencil case. So I feel like I might do a separate video because I know how much you guys love what's in my bags, what's in my pencil case sort of videos. Um, and I feel like if I go through it now, it's gonna take a long time because it's quite full. So I think I'm gonna do that as a separate video. Let me know if you want me to or not. It's still the same pencil case I bought at the start of the year. And the final things is in this back pocket in the main section. I've got a nail file. Just a bright pink shiny nail file because you never know when you're going to need one. And then my high-vis jacket. 
and I sometimes wore this when I used to walk to work. I had to wear a high vis when I was on the yard. And that is officially everything in my bag. However, I will say I did actually take out a little chocolate bar, like a Rocky bar that was in the bottom of my bag, squished and probably moldy a couple of weeks ago because I had to sort of sort through my bag a little bit to get all the revision stuff out so I could revise for my A-level exams. And stuff like that so there are a couple of things that used to be in here at the end of the year but then i have taken out like revision cards there were like a million revision cards in this bag and post-it notes and books and textbooks and stuff like that but they are not in here anymore because i use them for my revision for my exams i have officially finished my a-level exams i have done my a-level exams can i believe it no i cannot i'm now on my summer break my summer holidays and so many time things coming up you guys i cannot believe it and i cannot wait <gasps> excitement it's too real hope you enjoyed today's video it's been so long since i filmed a sit down video the last one i filmed was six months ago and it was my what i got for christmas video but you can expect a lot more sit down videos coming very very soon because i'm now like i said on my summer holidays so i've got more time to be at home to film videos and stuff like that however i am going on a lot of holidays so we'll be filming a lot of vlogs and you can look forward to those as well i know how much you guys love these back to school videos although i am going to uni i will be filming loads of back to school videos do not worry i'm sure i'll be filming a back to school haul as always i'll be filming a what's in my uni bag i'll be doing uni room tours I'll be doing uni hauls, uni shopping videos and also just general back to school videos that I know you guys enjoy because I know a lot of my viewers are a little bit younger and are still in secondary school and not going to uni yet. Um, so I'm not going to make all of my videos uni based but obviously it will be a little bit more adapted to my lifestyle and the next chapter of my life and I do want to document that. And I know it will help some of you out and it might be interesting to, for you to know what the uni is like because I feel like nobody really knows until you get there. So I want to give you guys a bit of an insight into my uni life. But that is enough talking. I have finished showing you what's in my bag. I've rambled on. We've had a nice good old catch up and chat and I will see you very, very soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching to the end. And I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Sparkle rewind. Bye. Handshake. <laughs> Bam. Bang. <laughs> Good job. Bye. <laughs>